Mr. Speaker, last year when Canadians heard that CEDA will be streamlining the application process for developing programs, they expected improvement. It turns out that for Conservatives, streamlining just means delaying. Fifty groups have waited for over th three months to hear whether they're getting the funding. Critical programs in developing countries are being cut. Mr. Speaker, why is the Minister putting these important development projects at risk? Mm -hmm. uh, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of International Speaker, Cooperation. This government is committed to assistance that is effective, focused and accountable. We ensure each project is an effective use of taxpayers' dollars. The amount of time to review proposals varies depending on the overall number of applications and the size, complexity and the risks associated with each proposal. The proposals are under consideration. I cannot comment further until the due diligence and evaluation process is completed. Yes, for Newton, North Delta. These people are trying to help the world's poorest, and all they get from that government is double-speak and off-base attacks. CEDA was four months past its own deadline, waiting for a media event to announce the Muskoka Initiative funding. The International Aboriginal Youth Internships were timed so the Minister could announce on a particular day. Mr. Speaker, why is the Minister more interested in flashy press conferences than actually getting the job done? Mr. Speaker, no organization is entitled to receive taxpayers' dollars indefinitely. Our, res our responsibility is to Canadian taxpayers, and it requires us to ensure that the official development assistance is more effective, more focused, and more accountable. The proposals are under consideration, and I won't speculate on when the due diligence and the evaluation process will be completed. Deputy Pontiac. 